When most people hear attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, they think of children. It is understandable because 80% of diagnoses are adolescents. However, there is a growing population of adult onset attention deficit disorder. We are here to talk to you about children and adults and how our unique, non-invasive, non-chemical, drug-free approach has helped these individuals. So listen carefully. Let's begin with children and autism spectrum disorders. Disorders such as autism, Asperger's, attention deficit disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, dyslexia. Chances are that you have a child or know a family that has a child suffering from one of these autism spectrum disorders. Autism, attention deficit disorder, ADHD, dyslexia can be very frustrating for the children, for the parents, and the school that's trying to help them. You need to listen to this video and I assure you that there will be some enlightening and useful information for you. Many adults suffer from brain fog, concentration difficulty, anxiety, sleep difficulty, panic attacks, and they don't know what to do about it. You may mix up your children's names, get to a place and don't know how you got there. And we have all experienced that. Walking to a room, we don't know why we're there. These are all indications of brain is aging too fast. Your brain is aging too fast if you're experiencing these. In this short video, I will share the secrets of how hundreds of children and adults have got their life back with non-invasive, simple approach. Many children and adults who suffer from these symptoms go to a doctor and are labeled with ADHD, ADD, adult ADD, memory loss, and as a result are labeled immediately and are given a prescription medication to take for the rest of their life. The problem is these meds do not cure anything. They only manage your symptoms for the day and come with serious side effects, life-threatening side effects. The reason no one has fixed you or your child, it's because no one wants to fix your body. They want to manage your symptoms and label you with a condition name. Understand that when your brain is not functioning, you must address not only the brain, but the gut, and in most cases, your thyroid as well. The reason you have been prescribed medication and were told to take it for the rest of your life, it's because these meds only address the brain and ignore other contributing factors. So no one is addressing yours or your child's gut or thyroid. Simple as that. You may be saying to yourself, well, I do not have a gut problem. I do not have a thyroid problem. This is the biggest problem that we have with our patients. You see the brain regions involved in attention, mood, memory regulation are connected through pathways, different pathways. The way they communicate to each other is through release of neurotransmitters. And when the neurotransmitters are released, if there is adequate amount, they function good. When there is not enough neurotransmitters, communication between the regions are not optimal and you don't feel good. So what we need to do, we need to make sure your neurotransmitters do not get depleted because if they get depleted, you get dysfunctional and you don't feel good. One of the common reasons your neurotransmitters can be depleting or be dysfunctional is your gut function. Almost 100% of our patients who do not complain about their gut function show positive with food sensitivity. And when you keep introducing these foods to your body, it can affect every cell in your body. It can affect every organ in your body, including your brain. Because neurotransmitter activity is directly related with your gut function. We need to address the whole body neurologically and metabolically at the same time in order to determine the cause and help your brain function. It is crucial that 
your organs function optimally in order for the brain to function optimally. I have said it before, brain on fire equals gut on fire equals thyroid on fire. Simple as that. Most kids and adults with these complaints are suffering from a condition called functional disconnect. This is the inability for the two hemispheres of the brain to communicate with each other properly. In other words, the pathways that are there to connect do not work properly if you have functional disconnect. When this occurs in children, it commonly presents as hyperactivity, attention deficit, impulsivity, and so on and so forth. And in adults, it shows as difficulty with following directions, remembering information, concentration, organizing tasks, or completing work within a set amount of time. Another cause of functional disconnect is stress. Stress can be physical, such as birth, such as trauma, such as car accident. It can be chemical, such as smoking or alcohol in case of an adult. We commonly see some type of food and toxin sensitivity that is contributing to your symptoms as adults and children. The only way to know is to get tested. Once again, the only way to know what foods you are sensitive to is to get tested. It is not measured by how you feel or how your child feels or how you as parent diagnose your child. We have all done that. And yes, hyperactivity, impulsivity, autism, panic attacks, anxiety could be directly related to food sensitivity. Stress could be emotionally induced, could be chemically induced. Bullying children, verbal abuse, those are all stress for our children. So an asymptomatic patient can still be harboring these sensitivities that affect them tremendously. It is a fact that inflammation causes overstimulation in your body and damages brain neurotransmitter activity. In terms of evaluation, we have to look at what is driving these symptoms to affect your brain function. Common causes are autoimmune conditions such as thyroid, Hashimoto's condition. Untreated strep infection, very big. Your child may have had strep infection that is lurking in his or her body without symptoms. Having processed foods, toxic diet, heavy metal toxicity, it is big. We have to run some tests. Anemia. Other cause of your brain not functioning properly and optimally is computer games. Watching TV before sleep. As I said before, food sensitivity such as gluten. We will test you for over 100 of foods and environmental sensitivity testing to see what your body is reactive and sensitive to and does not like and you keep introducing these agents to your body. Another cause of stress is chemical stress. Having over-the-counter vitamins that do not even absorb properly. 80% of our population have low vitamin D. It is a fact. Vitamin supplements are not created equal. There are many patients who are taking vitamin D and still feel horrible and still have low vitamin D levels. We give our patients pre-digested vitamin D that your body can absorb. That is why our vitamin D works and your vitamin D levels increase by taking the proper supplements over a matter of a few weeks. Lack of digestive enzymes, and proper bacteria in your gut attribute to your functional disconnect. This is one of the first areas we need to address, your gut health. Don't forget, over 80% of your immune system comes from your optimal functioning gut. So we need to support it. 
what you and your doctor may not know because he or she does not practice functional medicine is that in order for your thyroid hormones, TSH, to be released, you need adequate amount of two very important neurotransmitters, serotonin and dopamine. And guess where they're made? In your gut. So bad gut can cause bad brain function. This is why we need to treat your symptoms all at the same time, metabolically and neurologically. Our goal is to treat the whole person, the whole child, resulting in the improvement of their symptoms. Remember, you do not get desired results if you support the brain only. Because if you only support the brain and you don't address what is actually causing the problem, you're going to be on medication for the rest of your life. Sounds familiar? Can we guarantee our results? Absolutely not. There is never a guarantee in the healthcare field. I can only tell you results. And they're successful. We have not seen a patient who did not feel better naturally. We will also provide you a binder, which has the 10 years of my last research, and it's updated frequently. You will receive secrets about functional disconnect, ADHD, autism. It will include do's and don'ts, what to eat that is anti-inflammatory and what not to eat that is pro-inflammatory, what oils to use, what oils not to use, what neurological exercises you and your child should do to make your symptoms better, and what you need to avoid. I'm going to give you a lot of tips that will make a big difference. I do not want your child to be on a computer or iPhone more than an hour a day. I do not want your child to watch TV before bedtime. I'm very serious about fixing your child and fixing you. In terms of our unique individualized approach, you need to know that historically the methods used to treat children with autism spectrum disorders have included medications. This is traditional medicine. And this method may help improve the symptoms but are limited to overall effectiveness. Medications will not correct the imbalance in your child's brain. If your child stops taking the medication, the symptoms will return almost immediately. Stimulant drugs to treat ADHD such as Adderall, Ritalin, Concerta, so on and so forth, have a systemic effect to the child's body. They may offer relief of symptoms for the day, but the side effects may change your life and your children's life forever. On the other hand, the natural brain-based therapy has relatively zero side effects, which is what we do. So why is your child being told to take brain stimulants? Could it be because it makes money for pharmaceutical companies? Could it be because schools, they get additional funding to have more kids in the IAP program or a special needs class? I don't want to go off tangent now. So the steps are as follows. Step one, you will watch this video to have an understanding what we do and ask us any questions when you come in. Step two, you are going to fill out a specifically designed questionnaire. This will include questions about your general health, specific health, cognitive questionnaire, behavior questionnaire, hormone questionnaire, so on and so forth. Step three, you are going to see one of our physicians to answer your questions. So if you qualify for the program, we are going to accept you as a patient. We only accept patients who qualify for this program. If we feel we can help you, we will accept you as a patient. Step four, most of our patients are recommended to have some diagnostic evaluation which is performed on site and they're non-invasive. Common diagnostic testings 
are QEEG testing, which is a painless and a non-invasive, non-chemical, non-surgical, zero side effect, computerized test that shows your brain activity while doing different tasks. The data will help our physicians to design your program. Another common diagnostic test is food sensitivity testing. Like I said before, the only way to know is to get tested. If you do not have pain, that doesn't mean your gut is working properly. If you have gut symptoms, we are 100% sure that your gut is not working properly. Step five, as far as treatment is concerned, most of our patients will receive interactive metronome therapy. This therapy is designed to help your attention, speed of thinking, reading, writing, memory, activities of daily living, so on and so forth you will be performing simple exercises to stimulate different parts of your brain that are rhythmic and repetitious, these exercises. If you train your brain and stimulate the neuron pathways, your brain will find a way to improve on its uh, function. Your brain is going to improve memory, processing, speed of doing tasks, reading. You can improve comprehension. You can improve attention. Many children are set up on our interactive metronome system to play games on a computer with supervision and visual stimulation as they're playing the game. Our therapists have assigned and developed a specific program that will therapeutically help the patient based on their needs to enhance their brain activity with time limitations. They may be playing skiing games, balance games, or other fun games. It depends to the age of the patient. This has been incredibly, incredibly successful with our children and adult population. The next treatment, it's called neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is a therapy where a child or an adult sits to watch a movie. They watch the movie while they're connected to a computer to read their brain waves. Once again, there is zero side effect. There is zero pain. It's non-invasive. That's what you need and that's what you should go for. So this only receives information from the brain. It monitors brain activity as the child or adult is watching the movie. If they stop focusing because of their attention, because of their impulsivity, computer will recognize it and for example blocks half of the screen so which is unpleasant for the viewer so the patient gets this unpleasant takeaway as a result gaining their attention back and as a result the computer will reward what was taken back from them which is giving them the full screen if three minutes later the child becomes distracted again due to their lack of concentration the computer may take it away again. The computer may take away the left speaker. So there's no sound. Once again, it's a takeaway. It's unpleasant. The child is going to put their attention back. And as a reward, they get the sound from the left speaker back. So the patient involuntarily responds, thus focusing their attention to where it should be and get the takeaway back as a reward. We are training the brain, remapping the pathways of the brain where there was a functional disconnect to reconnect and that is why patients get results. This is called neuroplasticity, which means the brain will find other methods to accomplish the same task permanently. Similar to riding a bicycle as a child, once you learn how to ride a bike, it stays with you. Sometimes it is hard to actually undo. It's hard to fall from a bike now because you learn it and it's permanently mapped in your brain. The problem with medications, as I said before, such as Adderall, Ritalin, these medications boost overall brain activity. So if you have an imbalance in the brain where the right brain is down, left brain is fast, and you take the drug, it will boost both sides. So you still have imbalance. 
In many cases, if you stop the drug, you may even become worse. In fact, a Harvard medical neurologist, Dr. Duffy, he is a professor of pediatric neurology. He's an advocate of neurofeedback and states neurofeedback plays a huge role in these disorders. Why you haven't done it? Why you haven't heard about it? Could be because of the pharmaceutical companies, as I said before. There is a lot of money to be made for them. I want you to understand that I'm not suggesting you to stop medication, change medication. This is a job of the prescribing physician. We are not curing any condition here. Our medical physician's goal is for your body to perform at its optimal level. We need to address the body as a whole. That is why, in addition to interactive metronome and neurofeedback, we need to fix your diet. We need to fix the patient's gut and help them support the gut. How do we do that? Digestive enzymes that work, probiotics that are safely coated, which passes through your stomach into the intestine. That is where they belong, where they need to be absorbed. Many times, parents bring their children here because they heard on internet or from their next door neighbor that probiotics are good and they give it to their children. This makes things even worse many times because number one, you must first start with digestive enzymes. Number two, probiotics must be able to go through your, through your stomach acid and end up into your intestine to work properly. Most probiotics do not do that. They're not enough coated. And it gets broken down into your stomach by the stomach acid. And by the time it gets to your intestine, it becomes foreign and excessive gas occurs. Sounds familiar? You need to do the whole program to get results. Many times, you and your child has an autoimmune condition. The problem with autoimmune condition is that it doesn't attack just one area of the body. It can attack multiple areas of the body, including your brain function, very common. It can attack your thyroid, causing extreme fatigue. It can attack pancreas, causing diabetes, nerves, causing numbness, tingling, burning. It can attack the gut, the stomach linings, called irritable bowel syndrome. It can attack the joints, rheumatoid arthritis. It can attack the entire body. You need to be tested to see if you're experiencing an autoimmune condition. And if that is what is causing your functional disconnect. You need to get to the true cause of what is going on in your body and your brain. The only way to know is to run some tests. Another way to know if a patient is autoimmune is if they come to the office with a basket of supplements. I mean a truckload. I have had people bring in so many bottles of supplements, it wasn't funny. In many cases, the supplements that they were taking, they were actually making them worse because either a low quality supplement or these supplements were stimulating the area of the body which was overactive to begin with. And that is why they were getting even worse and having more stress thinking they're doing the right thing, but they were harming their body. This is why you need to have a comprehensive evaluation by a qualified doctor who has experience in functional medicine. The goal of this program is to improve sensory processing, motor skills, cognitive skills, speech and social skills, behavior, all simultaneously. So you could have a restful sleep, you could have a better memory, so you have less anxiety and your body can normalize. We sometimes have patients who are skeptical about this program and they want to run it by their primary care physician. <laughs> Here is my response to them. If what we are doing now, it was not helping people, the patients were not getting better. 
If what you are doing now was helping you, you would have been fixed by now. Traditional doctors treat you with traditional medicine because this is how they are trained to manage your symptoms with medication. There are only selected doctors in the Northeast that are trained to do what we do. If it makes sense what we do or what we said, call our office or at least go to a doctor who understands functional medicine, functional neurology, functional endocrinology, and diagnoses you metabolically and neurologically while addressing the cause metabolically and neurologically. If your doctor can do that, that is great. Otherwise, we are here for you. That is, if we accept you as a patient. If you are serious about getting your symptoms handled, our office is for you. You need to ask yourself, how serious are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Our committed patients are 8 or above. These are the patients who do not want to start or take or continue taking medication and medicate their children. Our job is to educate you and not necessarily medicate you with an outcome that can possibly change your child's future and change your child's life forever. When you come to our office, you may get treatment the same visit or the following visit based on how busy we are. Unless you're coming from out of state, we will give you treatment the same day. My name is Dr. Maz and God bless.